on the latest on the overturn of Roe v. Wade, one where some protesters were sprayed with tear gas overnight. And we're still tracking some showers and some storms around the area. We'll give you the latest coming up. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday, and thanks for joining us on News 3 Now. I'm McKenna Alexander. And I'm Julian. Okay, Julian, during our Ooh. 5 o'clock hour, mm -hmm. we got a little bit of a sunrise. You teased to some rain, and oh my gosh, it's here. I know, right? It's, it's just, a little soggy. Gross. Little, it little, is. Yeah. So it was beautiful out about <laughs> three you hours tell ago. By our sounds we're I making. know, right? <laughs> it was so gorgeous out three hours ago, but now we are looking at just plain old cloud cover and even some rain forces. We're kicking off the rest of our Saturday morning. So it's definitely one of those stay in bed a little longer for yeah. us type of weather. But as we take a look at what we're going to be expecting for us, this is where the rain is. The good news is we're not looking at storms so much here in southern Wisconsin. It's mainly south of us into northern Illinois, but we are looking at some rain. Rain that started to intensify, especially just near Sock County, starting to roll its way into Dane County for us. So we could see some heavier rainfall in the coming few moments. But until then, folks, just make sure you have your rain gear because this rain is not going to be going anywhere for at least much of our morning. Now, as we take a look closer of where the track is continuing, well, it's going to continue to push itself east throughout southern Wisconsin for us. The back end, we're starting to see a little bit of that rain falling apart outside of Prairie du Chien and just a few miles west of Platteville but we're still going to be looking at some rainfall throughout the next couple of hours as we get towards our noon hour. Now, as we take a look at what we're going to be seeing for us, may not see the intensity as of right now, but as we get into the later part of this morning, we could see more intense rainfall starting to roll its way into Dane County, and some areas could see a thunderstorm or two. Not going to be too scattered for us, but as of right now, we're just going to be dealing with some soggy conditions throughout much of our morning. We'll plan out more of this coming up in a few moments, McKenna, because uh, it's definitely going to be a wet day for us. Yeah, definitely one of those days like you said to stay inside yeah. maybe do some indoor activities we've, it's, uh, we've been so hot we've been outside take a break honestly this is like uh one of those cuddle up on the couch type of yeah. days for cuddle us. with your dog mm -hmm, with your absolutely. kids with your boo thing as you would say <laughs> cuddle up today it's a good day for that i love the terminology <laughs> even though it's my terminology it is your still. terminology yeah. all right thanks julie yeah. For the first time in U.S. history, a constitutional right in the books for 50 years has been taken away from Americans. Friday morning in a 6-3 decision, the U.S. Supreme Court moved to effectively nullify Roe v. Wade, a landmark case decided in 1973. Now this is the culmination of a story that's been developing for more than a month. We first heard about the leaked Supreme Court opinion in early May. That led to rallies across the country, including here in Madison. Then on June 8th, the governor ordering a special session to address the state's 170 73-year-old anti-abortion ban, which would take effect if Roe were overturned. Then just this Wednesday, Republicans gaveling in and out of the special session within seconds, ending any chance at a debate. And then two days later, Friday morning, the U.S. Supreme Court following through, doing away with 50 years of precedent. Now that highly controversial decision, sparking immediate rallies and demonstrations. This was the scene at yesterday evening in downtown Madison, where a large group of people flooded the area to voice their opinions on the decision. The pro choice marchers took their cries for reproductive rights around the Capitol Square. Hundreds marched around the Capitol several times, chanting their voices. One protester was especially worried at the effect this may have on women who've become pregnant by rape or incest who are no longer protected by the Constitution. Meanwhile, they also clashed with a pro-life group celebrating Roe being overturned. The law just went so far to where you're going to tell people who have been raped or who are victims of incestual rape that you now have no choice in basically reliving your traumatic experience every single day. They're chanting, my body, my choice. So that's a, it's not. And, it, and the science, you know, we've heard trust the science over and over in the last two years for sure. Um, the science says that's, that's not, it's, it's, that's a baby. And so we want to uh, respect the rights of the baby. Speakers urge the crowd to take more action and let elected officials know the anger and fear they're feeling right now. The organizers at Madison's Socialist Alternative had their own safety team around the rally. Madison police officers were also there monitoring the situation. So as we mentioned a bit earlier, with state Republicans choosing to not open debate or discuss Wisconsin's 1849 anti-abortion bill this week, that 107-year-old law is now in effect. It establishes a felony charge for providers who perform abortions, making no exceptions for cases of rape or incest. Madison Mayor Satya Rhodes-Conway says the city will not be arrested 
arresting those who do provide the service. In a blog post, she wrote in part, the Supreme Court has failed us and our state has failed us, but we are determined as a city to do all we can to counteract these failures. Friday afternoon, News 3 Now also spoke with State Attorney General Josh Call, who also says he will not be using state resources to prosecute anyone. I think there is very likely to be litigation uh, in the courts over what the state of the law is. The 19th century ban was, was never taken off the books. As long as I'm AG, we're not going to use any uh, resources at the Wisconsin Department of Justice to investigate or prosecute anybody for alleged violations of the 19th century abortion ban. Now that the Supreme Court's conservative majority has overturned Roe, returning the issue of abortion rights to the states, many states are quickly imposing abortion bans or restricting access, while others are emerging as abortion sanctuaries. Anthony Pera has more. At least half of U.S. states are expected to quickly ban or severely restrict access to abortion, and 13 have so-called trigger laws that automatically took effect following Friday's ruling. Healthcare providers in several other states are bracing for a surge of women seeking abortions from out of state. We've been building up our infrastructure, making sure that we are able to take more appointments, that we have more providers on hand. California, New York, Kansas, Illinois, Oregon, Washington State, and Colorado are just a few of the states designating themselves as abortion havens or sanctuaries. In New York City, the mayor's office says no woman in need of an abortion will be turned away. We will take the necessary steps to fully protect both women in this city and those who come to our city to access the freedom which may no longer exist in their hometowns. In California, Oregon, and Washington are building the West Coast offense to protect patients' access to reproductive care. West Coast governors also announced a new coalition. We're going to work with our legislators, with our providers, with our patient advocates. We will continue to protect patients from any state who come to our states for abortion care. I think the pro-life movement in California is ready for it. The Jonathan Keller is president of the California Family Council. It's up to us, pro-life advocates here in the Golden State, to try to meet those women where they're at, whether they're coming from down the street or across the country. Keller is urging opponents of abortion rights to step up and help women find alternatives to ending their pregnancies. Anthony Pura, CBS News. Illinois has already seen a steady stream of patients crossing the state line for abortions in recent months. Planned Parenthood of Illinois says the state could see an additional 20,000 to 30,000 patients seeking abortions within the first year of the high court's ruling. New this morning over in Arizona, authorities using tear gas to disperse a crowd protesting at Supreme Court abortion ruling in front of the state capitol late Friday. An Arizona Department of Public Safety spokesperson says the protesters repeatedly pounded on the glass doors of the state senate building. He said the group moved across the street to where tear gas was deployed after a monument was vandalized. On Twitter, at least two lawmakers have confirmed some of the details from the DPS spokesperson. The demonstrations come after several Arizona abortion providers said they preemptively paused abortion services due to a lack of legal clarity on the matter. And there's something else we're keeping an eye on. In the opinion writing yesterday, Justice Clarence Thomas explicitly calling for the court to also reconsider its rulings, striking down state restrictions on contraceptives, state sodomy bans, and state prohibitions on same-sex marriage. He wrote, quote, we have a duty to correct the error established in those precedents. Now again, this is a developing story. So as always, while it continues to evolve, be sure to stay with News 3 Now online and on air for all the latest information. You can also download our free news app. Tomorrow, a community picnic is being held for refugee families to meet their Madison neighbors. Coming up, we'll sit down with a woman that's moved here from Iraq and learn how Open Doors for Refugees has helped her family since coming to the U.S. And you're taking a live look over the Capitol. Jillian's tracking some showers in your forecast just ahead on News 3 Now. Every day, News 3 Now investigates. Shop the inventory blowout sale at Grand Appliance for unbeatable deals on our huge selection of in-stock appliances and grills. Get exclusive offers like this 5 cubic foot Frigidaire chest freezer for just $157, this premium KitchenAid dishwasher for just $697, or this 26 cubic foot side-by-side -side refrigerator for just $797. Shop your local showroom or grandappliance.com today. Grand Appliance. You make it home, we make it grand.
and big dental bills often come as a shock because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. News 3 Now, first warm weather before. Alert days are in the forecast for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Madison, Janesville, Beloit, Portage, Baraboo, the Dells. This is when you really need to begin to watch the eye to the sky during we have a confirmed tornado on the ground this is a serious situation you need to take shelter immediately and after the storms you can see some of the damage here behind me this morning get severe weather coverage from madison's certified most accurate team news three now first worn weather news three now first worn weather is brought to you by lazy boy home furnishings and decor Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. And we got ourselves a rainy day to start off our Saturday. And this is why we're looking at it. As of right now, a low pressure system is up into the upper Midwest for us. And we're looking at the stationary frontal boundary, which is just fueling plenty of showers and even storms. But the storms are mainly south of us here in southern Wisconsin. As we take a look at what we're seeing on our radar as of right now, much more widespread as the system continues to track itself east across Wisconsin. But as you can take notes, it's mainly just rain, not a whole lot of lightning uh, signatures on our radar as of right now. We were seeing a bit earlier just outside of La Crosse, but if you're traveling along Interstate 90 as of right now, you're just dealing with some rainfall, especially over towards the western side. But as we take a closer look at here in southern Wisconsin, as it is continuing to push itself across, we are looking at the back end just outside of Prairie du Chien in eastern Iowa. The rain is starting to fall apart just a bit, but some intensity is starting to increase just near this Illinois state line as we continue throughout the rest of our morning hours. And even just outside of Dane County, we're looking at a bit more uh, heavier rainfall starting to roll its way in for us. We're going to be expecting to see some heavy rain as we get into the later part of this morning. But as of right now, this is what we're looking at for our storm tracks. They're continuing to push themselves northeast and east throughout southern Wisconsin. So we are going to see a bit more widespread throughout the rest of this morning. So just make sure that you have your rain gear on hand. And as we get into the later part of the morning, it's going to start to fall apart just a bit. But we're still looking at some soggier conditions, especially around Dane County as we continue throughout the rest of this morning. Once we get closer to the noon hour. The showers will start to dwindle just a bit, but still some thunderstorms could be possible, especially areas just outside of Janesville as we get into the early afternoon, but then we're looking for some breaks into our rain for us. Cloud cover is going to start to open up a bit as we get into the later part of this evening and for tonight, those who are heading to Summerfest or even just have some nightly plans, it's going to be relatively nice for us. We're going to be pretty dry. Some clouds may linger, but temperatures are going to fall into the 70s and 60s for us, especially as we go into our overnight. Now, we are still going to be looking at some pretty significant rainfall throughout the rest of the event. Could still see close to an inch in Platteville or even an inch and a half. And for us in Dane County, especially Madison, could see about a quarter to a half of an inch of rain. But mainly that rain is going to be the heaviest uh, south of Dane County for us throughout the course of this event. Now, planning out the rest of today, just note, keep the rain gear nearby. We are still going to be seeing breaks throughout the course of today, but since we are looking at so much cloud cover and the rain, well, we're not going to see temperatures climb much higher throughout the upper 70s for today. So we're shooting for around 79 degrees to be our high for us, but tomorrow is going to be even cooler and much more sunshine is going to be at our back. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But our three takeaways for this weekend and for going into the next few days is that tomorrow we're going to be back to some more mild temperatures. 70s will return for us and then the 80s are going to bounce back next week as we get into our Tuesday. We'll start to see those lower 80s roll back in with some chances of some showers or storms, but really going to see the heat kick itself back in going into our Wednesday and for our Thursday. McKenna, the warmth is going to be returning, but next weekend's not looking too warm as we're into those lower 80s.
Well, at least it's going to be nice this Sunday, which is great because this morning we're talking about a fun event for the whole family that's happening tomorrow. Now, I'm joined this morning by Madeline Yernick with Open Doors for Refugees, as well as Huda Al Alawi, who is a refugee herself that's been helped by Open Doors. Now, Huda, why don't you go and tell me about the decision to come to the U.S. from Iraq? Uh, I come from Iraq to Madison in October 2015 with my husband and my son. You know, the situation in Iraq, it's so bad. And I'm looking for the save and I want the best uh, future for, my, for me and my family. And now whenever you got to Madison, how were you helped by Open Doors for Refugees? Oh, the Open Doors, they help me and they support me all the time. I, had a, I have a little hobby. The Open Doors, they help me, they make this happy to a small business. Now I have a, a website on Etsy, uh, a small business. And now this hobby that you know you had in your old home and now you have in your new home. Tell me a little bit about that. Okay, I am making knitting or crochet, like a hat, the scarves for the adults or uh, the kids, something like that. And now, how have you been received by the Madison community? How have you felt your family has been taken under the wing a little bit? The Okay, the people here, they are so nice and they're so <laughs> kind. Trust me, all the time when I'm walking in the street with my kids, they smile, they say hi, they are so nice. Now, I know the Madison community overall is very welcoming and one of the things that really helps foster those relationships is community events. Now, Madeline, one of those is the annual community picnic hosted by Open Doors for Refugees. Why don't you tell me a little bit about what that is? It is tomorrow. It's in Olin Park. It starts at noon. We are so excited. So once a year, uh, the refugee families come, all of the volunteers who work with the refugee families come, and everyone in Madison is welcome to come and meet volunteers and refugee families and uh, sign up to volunteer your, yourself this year. It's really meaningful to work with this group of people who are so resilient and work so hard uh, to get their lives in another place. Now I know this is such a fun event for families and kids of all ages. What are some of the things they can look forward to tomorrow? Wow, we've really stacked the entertainment, stacked the tables with all kinds of food and uh, entertainment includes Rizosto Brazil, the great martial arts uh, group um, doing capoeira and also Yid Yidvicious, uh, the klezmer, amazing, funny and fun, uh, talent to the orchestra. Uh, Doug the Jug is going to be doing uh, juggling. Angela Puerta plus 10 organizations that have also volunteered to come out from Madison Children's Museum, going to build a fort and the birding group is going to take a family, a family bird walk. The Red Reading Bus will be there. We've, uh, we'll, we'll hit it hard. <laughs> it's a jam packed and I know one of the fan favorites for community picnics is the potluck. Why don't you tell me a little bit about that? There's a lot of foods and if your family has a special food tradition bring it everyone will bring a dish to pass and uh, the refugee families I think uh, Huda said she's going to bring dolmas. We've yes. heard Huda's like known <laughs> as the best yes. dolmas maker. Yes, I ha tomorrow inshallah I bring dolma because mm. the people here they said Huda you are the best maker dolma. Okay, so you definitely can't miss tomorrow's community picnic then I guess. Oh, we're looking forward to it. Anyways. All right, well if you would like to attend as Madeline said this community picnic is this Sunday at Olin Park from noon to four and that potluck starts at one. Coming up next there are several new shows and movies to check out this weekend. Will shares his picks and three things to watch. Trending news is just ahead on News 3 Now this morning. Dude, great ride. Right? This Silverado keeps me connected and in control. And this touchscreen is my command center. Uh. Hmm. My command center. The 2022 Silverado LT. Find new control. Find new roads. Well-qualified buyers can get 1.9% financing on all 2022 Silverado 1500 pickups. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. My dream hits hard, so you hit back with you Brelby. You level up. You won't take a timeout. One dose of you Brelby works fast. It can quickly stop migraine in its tracks within two hours without worrying if it's too late or where you are. Unlike older medicines, you Brelby is a pill that directly blocks a protein believed to be a cause of migraine. Do not take with strong cyp 3 a 4 inhibitors. Most common side effects were nausea and tiredness. Migraine pain relief starts with you. Learn how Appy could help you save. Ask about you Brelby the anytime, anywhere migraine medicine. Go forth. 
and save this 4th of July at Bob's Discount Furniture. With my everyday low prices on stylish and quality furniture, mattresses, home decor, and more. With free yummy treats in my cafes. Plus our best financing options ever. And I mean ever. Six months special financing, 12 months, 30 months, and my new 60 month option. Bob's Discount already beats the other guy's phony sales, but now with so many financing options to choose from, 4th of July is gonna be lit. When my family opened the first Culver's in Sauk City, Wisconsin, you know what we did? We gave it our all, making sure everyone felt welcome, sharing our favorite foods from around the state, like butter burgers and fresh frozen custard, greeting every guest with all our heart, crafting each meal with care, believing a smile makes everything taste better. And it's a tradition we bring with us yet today, from our hometown to yours. Welcome to Delicious. Have you ever experienced this view? Hi, Andrew Larson here. With Gutter Shutter, you'll never have to experience it again. Please give up this dangerous chore and protect your home's foundation with Gutter Shutter, the strongest, most durable, maintenance-free gutter on the market. Over the past 15 years, my team has installed thousands of maintenance-free gutter systems across South Central Wisconsin. We'd love to come out and show you what Gutter Shutter can do for you and your home, but most importantly, keep you safe and off that ladder. So call Call today for a free estimate. $5,000 a year. That's the burden of Joe Biden's inflation tax on Wisconsin families. They can't afford it. From the grocery store to the gas station, we're all paying the price for Biden's massive deficit spending. Ron Johnson has the courage to say no to spending that is mortgaging our children's future. And his small business tax cuts help them compete and survive the pandemic. I'm Ron Johnson and I approve this message. And we're just going to be monitoring the rain situation throughout much of this morning. This is what we're looking at as of right now. Still going to be seeing developments of some rainfall. The heaviest rain, however, is still just outside of Dane County, even though we are looking at that intensity to start to increase as we continue throughout the rest of this morning. But the good news is the storms themselves are mainly south of southern Wisconsin. So this is nearly uh, near the northern Illinois state line for us. Now, as we take a closer look at what we're going to be seeing for where the rain is and how it's tracking, well, it's continuing the track east across southern Wisconsin. So over the next couple of hours, we're all going to be seeing a very widespread and scattered showers and even some rain throughout much of our morning hours, but it still looks to dwindle out as we get to the noon hours. We can see just behind Grant County, we are looking for that last part of the system starting to fall apart, which is good news because that means that the rest of today is going to shape up for us to be relatively on the dry side, but we just got to get through a rainy morning. So enjoy your coffee and enjoy Enjoy just staying in bed for a little longer because it's going to be very comfortable and quite the rainy day weather for us. Then we will start to see it all start to break up as we get into the later part of today, opening things up for us into our afternoon and for our evening hours, which is good news for those who have nighttime plans that are outdoors or heading to Summerfest because it's going to look to be on the dry side, McKenna. It's great for tonight, but as for this morning, if it's just raining out there, good time to stay in bed and cuddle up with the kids or dog and turn on some Netflix. There's clearly no shortage of films and shows streaming. Our Will Loper shares a few of the best in this weekend's three things to watch. When we jumped here, we created a time paradox. Newly streaming on Netflix is the third season of The Umbrella Academy. We caused a paradox, and that paradox is swallowing things. How long do we have? Four, maybe five days before the rest of existence is blessed. Not to mention, we've been replaced. The Umbrella siblings are back in an alternate timeline where their father has raised a different group of siblings called the Sparrow. Your team is good, but I don't think you're better than me. I ended the world twice. And you, you're just me and spandex. All ten episodes of The Umbrella Academy are streaming on Netflix now. They said I didn't belong. That it was impossible. Newly streaming on Disney Plus is the film Rise. Papa always talks about opportunity. What if this is it? It's okay. We'll go again. When we fall to get back up. The true life story tells of the struggles and success of the Ante Tacumpo family and the NBA draft that would change their lives. Give it. They can knock us down, but they can't stop us from getting back up. 
Rise is streaming on Disney Plus now. Molly, what are you doing in here? Haley, in our bedroom? I can explain. Was she even born when we graduated college? Actually, she was one. Oh! Molly? I want a divorce. And newly streaming on Apple TV Plus is the series Loot. Hello? Molly Novak, I'm the executive director of your foundation. Wait, what? I was wondering if you wouldn't mind coming into the office tomorrow. I have an office? Maya Rudolph stars as Molly, who after divorcing her billionaire husband, decides to make a difference with her charitable foundation. I need to prove I have substance. I'm the reason they made the dress code the I am so excited to save the world together. To see you tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day. Actually, Friday, there's a thing in St. Bart's I might want to go to, but definitely next week. The first three episodes of Loot are streaming on Apple TV Plus now. Let's run! Those are the three things you need to watch, and this is Will Loper for News 3 Now this morning. Next, the latest on the first major gun legislation in more than three decades. We'll be right back on News 3 Now this morning. Save on all appliances and grills during the inventory blowout sale at Grand Appliance. Shop unbeatable deals like this GE gas range with convection and air fry for just $8.47. Or this LG kitchen with a 29 cubic foot French door fridge for just $29.97. That's not all. Get up to $750 in additional savings exclusively at Grand. Visit GrandAppliance.com or your local showroom today. Grand Appliance. The appliance experts. When pain says, it's time to go home, I say, not yet. Aleve, who do you take it for? The Spring Green Art Fair is coming June 25th and 26th to downtown Spring Green. Hundreds of artists from around the nation will be there both days. Don't miss the fun and excitement June 25th and 26th in Spring Green. Inflation is a tax hitting Wisconsin families and businesses, especially at the pump. But the Biden administration cut American energy production. These are their policies. They want to drive up the price of fossil fuel. They want to drive up the price of energy, so apparently we, we use less of it. Senator Ron Johnson is fighting to restore American energy independence. Johnson helped write legislation to finish the Keystone Pipeline, expand U.S. oil production, and promote natural gas. Tell Senator Johnson, keep fighting for American energy independence. How do you use your energy? Giving back to your community? Fueling your drive to deliver hope for neighbors in need. At Alliant Energy, we're creating more clean, renewable energy every single day to power what matters to you. Because even during the most powerful moments in our lives, we're not thinking about power. We're thinking about a brighter future. Alliant Energy, powering beyond. Wake up, Madison, to everything you need to know to start your day. First, Chris and Leah get you up to speed on what happened overnight. Then plan your day with Chris Reese and his hour-by-hour -hour forecast. And you never know who you're going to meet in the 608 with Josh Spryder. News 3 Now this morning, getting you up to the minute, the minute you're up. Weekday morning starting at 4.30. News 3 Now is taking action, reaching out to our community to lend a helping hand. Taking action by teaming with our neighbors and local leaders to help make this amazing community we share a better place to live. Taking action for South Central Wisconsin. News 3 Now. On the next Live at 4, Will Loper tells us what's popular on screens, big and small, and look ma, no chain. Harry Briggs shows off a chainless BMW motorcycle. Another major development on Capitol Hill as President Biden signs the first major gun legislation in more than three decades into law. We have a closer look at what's included in it coming up. And hopefully you're grabbing the rain gear because we have a soggy start to our weekend. We'll give you the latest coming up. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday and thanks for joining us on News 3 Now. I'm McKenna Alexander. Let's go ahead and send over to Julian Strait for a look at your Saturday forecast. Julian, is it going to be a washout today? 
It already is. Look at this. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's already washed out as we're starting out our Saturday morning. Just a blanket of rain throughout much of southern Wisconsin. It's going to continue throughout the rest of this morning, but this is what we're really looking at here. The intensity of the rain and if we're seeing any storms. Well, the good news is around here in southern Wisconsin, we were looking at some light signature, lightning signatures just a bit earlier, but as of right now, we're not looking at it. So we are just looking at some moderate rainfall, but it is a bit stronger and heavier just outside of Dane County. But as we continue throughout the rest of this morning, could see that intensify just a bit more as we go throughout the later parts of this morning, closer to the noon hour. But again, it is still tracking pretty much east throughout much of southern Wisconsin and areas just south. Well, this is mainly for the northern Illinois state line. That's where we're seeing the storms this morning as we're continuing throughout the rest of our few hours. But as we plan things out for us, as we get into close to the noon hour, we'll start to see things fizzle out just a bit. But we still have chances of that rain to start to intensify once again and linger a little bit longer as we get into the early parts of our afternoon. But the heavier rainfall once we get into the early afternoon hours is mainly going to be just outside of Janesville and pushing itself closer to Milwaukee, where that's where the rain is going to really subside as we continue throughout the much of this afternoon. But we're going to talk more about this and when we can start to see a bit of this clearing up for us in just a few moments. Until then, Betsy and McKenna. All right, thanks, Julian. Some breaking news this morning in just the last hour. President Biden signing the latest gun reform bill into law. The bill was sent to his desk on the same day the Supreme Court took historic action in overturning Roe v. Wade. So for this new gun control legislation, Democrats banded together with 14 Republicans in the House and 15 in the Senate to pass bills in the wake of recent mass shootings. Deborah Alferon reports. Is laid upon the table. The motion is adopted. The House has passed a Senate bill sending the first major new gun control legislation in nearly 30 years to the White House to be signed into law. Let us not judge this legislation for what is not in it, but respect it for what it does. And what it does is save lives. The bipartisan legislation will enhance gun background checks for people under 21. It sets aside $750 million to give to states that implement red flag laws designed to temporarily seize guns from people deemed dangerous. And it closes the so-called boyfriend loophole, preventing someone who's been convicted of domestic abuse but lives outside a victim's home from buying a gun. Nearly every Republican in the House opposed the bill saying it tramples on Americans' rights. They are coming after Americans, law-abiding American citizens' Second Amendment liberties. The Senate passed this bill Thursday night after weeks of bipartisan negotiations led by Democrat Chris Murphy and Republican John Cornyn. I don't believe in doing nothing in the face of what we saw in Uvalde and we've seen in far too many communities. This bill is a compromise. It doesn't do everything I want. But what we are doing will save thousands of lives. 15 Republicans joined Democrats in passing the bill in the Senate. Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says he is not concerned about pressure from the NRA. What I'm mainly concerned about is dealing with the issues that have been brought to the fore by these mass shootings. Many Republicans who voted in favor will not be facing voters in 2024. Deborah Alferone, CBS News, Capitol Hill. To local news now, a criminal complaint is laying out new details in the case of a DeForest man now facing multiple attempted homicide charges. 19-year-old Gabriel Savage was initially arrested in April on attempted kidnapping and stalking charges. He was released from jail this Wednesday after posting bond, but was rearrested the same day after some new information surfaced. The complaint says a new notebook was found where Savage laid out a manifesto. In that manifesto, it said he had plans to kill another female acquaintance and her whole family. It went on to say he also planned to sexually assault the girl and her younger sister before taking his own life while lying next to her, quote, like Romeo and Juliet. Police talked with the female acquaintance and her family about these new revelations. The complaint said the family has been fearful since Savage's arrest and has even discussed leaving the state after he posted bail. During an initial appearance Friday afternoon, the court set a new cash bond at $100 thousand dollars.
Around Wisconsin now in Chippewa Falls, the teenage boy accused of killing 11-year-old Lily Peters will find out whether he'll stand trial in a couple of months. A Chippewa County judge on Friday scheduling a September 1st preliminary hearing for the 14-year-old. The boy is charged in adult court with first-degree intentional homicide and first-degree sexual assault in connection with the murder. Lily disappeared on the night of April 24th as she was riding her bike home. Searchers found her body in the woods the next morning. Over in Rock County now, a deputy is still in the hospital as of Friday morning after being involved in a crash Thursday afternoon. The wreck happened near Blackhawk Technical College in the town of Turtle. The deputy was on the way to a reported shooting when they collided with a tow truck. Two people inside that truck and the deputy were all injured but are expected to be all right. The Wisconsin State Patrol still investigating that crash. Still ahead, new data is showing the effectiveness that two booster doses is having on American adults. We'll be right back on News 3 Now this morning. Hey, this one's free. Car in front of you pay for it. The best things in life are free. It's the greatest day of my life. <laughs> Just wait till she hears about free installation from Feldco. <gasps> free installation? Reinstallation on windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Plus, no interest until 2024. That's something to get excited about. Free installation ends Thursday. Call now. For quality windows, siding, and doors. Call 866 for Feltco. Out here, we know a thing or two about beef. High V knows beef too. Only six out of a hundred cattle are even good enough to bear the High V brand. Only six out of a hundred. Quality like that is hard to find. So enjoy your High V steak this weekend. You've earned it. After driving cattle in the 1880s, hitting the hay could be a literal experience. But some lucky cowpokes got to sack out in a brand new Sealy mattress. And after 140 years, Sealy is still delivering a great night's sleep. That's why Denver Mattress is proud to offer the Sealy Posturepedic Plus Hybrid. With cool to touch covers, body hugging memory foams, and motion reducing coils, you'll sleep cooler and more comfortably all night long. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right Sealy. Tired of millionaires in the Senate like Ron Johnson who only look out for the rich and powerful? Mandela Barnes will be a voice for hard-working middle-class families. As the son of a teacher and a third-shift factory worker, he gets it. He'll make the big corporations and the rich pay their fair share and lower middle-class taxes to make things more affordable for us. Mandela Barnes knows it's about the middle class, not the millionaires. Courageous Leaders Pack Inc. is responsible for the content of this advertising. After a tragic murder suicide in Sun Prairie, the victim's loved ones want the world to know about one law they believe could have saved her. A law Wisconsin hasn't passed. News 3 Now investigates Sunday at 10. The News 3 Now call for action team. Getting results for you. When a local woman was taken advantage of by a car dealership, we took action and helped her get back nearly $10,000. After going through you, it's just like, you can breathe. Call for action. Only on News 3 Now. And we are talking about more rain. That's right. As we were waking up this morning, it is a soggy start to us throughout much of Wisconsin, and it has started to inch its way even closer to our friends in Milwaukee. But the good news is we're not seeing a whole lot of thunderstorms here in southern Wisconsin. As we take a closer look, we are looking at some areas just west of Madison that are intensifying in terms of how heavy the rain is falling. But the storms themselves are not really producing as of right now. But we could see them start to roll in just a bit later. But here's a track of what we're going to be seeing. Our friends into the northwest or northeast, excuse me, outside of Green Bay might be missed in terms of seeing any kind of rainfall for today. But we are going to be looking at that rain to continue throughout much of southern Wisconsin, throughout much of our morning and into our early afternoon as well. We'll take a deeper look about what we're going to be expecting for this in a few moments. And so then let's go ahead and toss it back to you, McKenna. All right. Thanks, Julian.
COVID-19 vaccine saved almost 20 million lives in the first year they were available. That's according to a recent large-scale modeling study published in The Lancet. The impact of the vaccination programs was determined by estimating the additional lives lost if no vaccines were available. The study also shows up to 600,000 additional lives could have been saved. That's if the World Health Organization's goal of vaccinating 40% of each country's eligible population by the end of 2021 had been met. And new data is in from the CDC as well. It seems to answer the question of how much does a second booster protect against COVID-19? The data shows people 50 years and older who have received two boosters are more than 40 times less likely to die from COVID-19 than those who are unvaccinated. They're also four times less likely to die than people who've only had one booster, though the death rate is low for both groups. In the last week of April, there were only 0.03 deaths per every 100,000 people with two boosters. Now to a recent investigation into the online mental health provider Cerebral. The company exploded in popularity during the pandemic, but it's now facing a Department of Justice investigation over how it prescribed drugs like Adderall. CBS's Anna Werner sat down exclusively with the company's new CEO to address concerns raised by this investigation, which the company is cooperating with. Cerebral is extremely easy to use. Cerebral is the largest of a number of online mental health companies that advertise medication management for conditions like ADHD heavily on social media. Stigmas and anxieties sometimes prevent people from seeking help. It grew rapidly after the government loosened online drug prescribing rules during the pandemic. And Cerebral CEO Dr. David Moe says he stands by their clinical quality. I really trust our clinical program. As chief medical officer, I came in with the mandate of bringing in quality and safety, and I did just that. And he says he's not worried about the Justice Department's investigation into his company's prescribing practices. So you're feeling confident that the DOJ is not going to find any problems? Yeah, I'm confident that our clinical programs are very, very good. And if anything, they're above standard of care. But documents obtained by CBS News show Cerebral knew about risks like duplicate patient accounts, which meant multiple controlled substances could be overprescribed to the same individual, a concern they called a patient safety issue. Then there's this internal log showing staffers flagged nearly 1,200 instances of prescribers being unresponsive. Missouri mother Rachel Coster told us it happened to her. They just really gave me a bad experience that I'll never forget. Coster signed up, met with a prescriber, and got medication all in a single day. But after that... Every time I needed her help, she was never available. Wouldn't it be dangerous if patients cannot get hold of their prescribers and therefore can't get their medications or they're not using them correctly? So I will say we'll definitely take a look into this and very we're very serious about continuous improvement here. Dr. Mo insists Cerebral helps many patients. You have to take this in aggregate and uh, where many of our patients do really well. If you look at our ratings. Um, but these really people high. aren't living in aggregate, yeah. right? You're talking about individual lives here i would hope that uh, um so i refer my close friends my family members to use cerebral our commitment here is the quality of care and now that i'm ceo we're going to double down and triple down on that thesis cerebral says keeping track of things like non-responsive prescribers is part of its safety check system now last month the company did announce it will stop prescribing drugs like adderall and xanax to new patients and after our interview, the company apologized to Rachel Coster, saying her clinician did not follow their procedures and is no longer working with Cerebral. Anna Werner, CBS News, New York. Still ahead, how some homeowners are opting for a lawn that never needs to be mowed. And you're taking a live look over to Capitol. Julian's tracking some showers in your forecast when the wind coming up. Amazon.com skills to enable Channel 3000 news briefs. Celebrate the freedom of a great night's sleep and save big during the July 4th sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Or check out the budget-friendly Summit Firm for only $299.99. Sleep cool all summer long and save up to $500 with the superior cooling comfort of a temper breeze. And score a $300 gift, plus five years no interest and free 
free shipping. Don't miss the July 4th sale on now at Denver Mattress. High V hot deals are super hot this Friday through Sunday. Fresh avocados, five for only five dollars. Whole seedless watermelon, only three ninety nine. Basket and bushel strawberries, only three ninety nine for a two pound pack. Lunchables, three for only four dollars with coupon. And the savings are hotter than hot on Cottonelle bath tissue. Six mega rolls for only four ninety nine with coupon. Scan the QR code and check out HyVDeals.com for more deals. Before treating your chronic migraine, 15 or more headache days a month, each lasting four hours or more, you're not the only one with questions about Botox. Botox prevents headaches in adults with chronic migraine before they even start, with about 10 minutes of treatment once every three months. So ask your doctor if Botox is right for you, and if a sample is available. Effects of Botox may spread hours to weeks after injection, causing serious symptoms. Alert your doctor right away as difficulty swallowing, speaking, breathing, eye problems, or muscle weakness can be signs of a life-threatening condition. Side effects may include allergic reactions, neck and injection site pain, fatigue, and headache. Don't receive Botox if there's a skin infection. Tell your doctor your medical history, muscle or nerve conditions, and medications, including botulinum toxins, as these may increase the risk of serious side effects. In a survey, 92% of current users said they wish they talked to their doctor and started Botox sooner. Plus, right now, you may pay $0 for Botox. Learn how AbbVie could help you save on Botox. The challenges we face today feel monumental. Inflation, gas prices, and now an unthinkable threat to a woman's right to choose. I'm Alex Lazary, and I have a track record of getting things done. That's how you know I'll work for you. By lowering prescription drug prices, putting more money into people's pockets, and protecting every woman's right to choose, no matter what. This is why we must defeat Ron Johnson and start meeting our challenges head on. That's why I approve this message. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. And our rainy morning continues here in the upper Midwest. This is what we're seeing as of right now on our surface. The low pressure system has brought in plenty of rain for us as the stationary frontal boundary has been just fueling plenty of showers and even some storms for some areas. However, luckily for us here in southern Wisconsin, we have been spared so far of seeing storms. However, the thunderstorms themselves have been in eastern Iowa and areas just into northern Illinois and outside of La Crosse as well. Hasn't been very widespread. They have been scattered, however. But in terms of the rain in itself, well, we're starting to see it continue to push itself across southern Wisconsin. But you can see just the back end where Prairie du Chien is and outside of Grant County, we are looking for that rain to start to fall apart just a bit. So we are looking for a bit of the end of some of this rain, but it's going to continue for us throughout the next couple of hours. Now, as we take a look at our tracks and what we're going to be seeing for it, it's going to continue to track itself east across southern Wisconsin. And sooner rather than later, we're going to be looking at this rain to start to get to our friends in Milwaukee, Kenosha, and the Waukesha areas for us. But until then, for the next hour or two, we're going to be dealing with some, uh, some rainfall for us. But the good news is, as of right now, it's not overly heavy. So even though it's going to be a soggy start to our morning, getting into around the noon hour, we'll start to see a phase out of Dane County, but areas near Rock and Green County could see a bit of that heavier rainfall start to develop and potentially could see a thunderstorm or two as we get into the early afternoon hours. Now, as we get into the later part of this afternoon, however, that rain is really going to continue to push itself into the most eastern corridor of southern Wisconsin for us. So we're going to be looking at more dry conditions for us by the time we get into our early afternoon around Dane County and then around dinner time and later into this evening, we're going to start to see some breakage into our cloud cover, though we could see some isolated showers or even a potential thunderstorm rather early for this evening. It's going to be rather dry for the vast majority of us. So if you have any outdoor plans or anything like that for tonight, well, it's going to be pretty nice for us. And then temperatures will start to fall into the 60s, and we are looking for tomorrow to be a much nicer day in terms of not very humid, and we're going to be back into the 70s by the time we get into our summer. Sunday afternoon. Now taking a look at how much rainfall we're going to be seeing over the course of the rest of this event. Well, still could see much more of that rainfall really just near the Illinois state line for us. Close to about an inch or an inch and a half from areas of Platteville, closer towards Janesville. But for us here in Madison, could see about a quarter to a half of an inch. But some areas that have seen a bit of that more intense rainfall could see a bit more as well. 
Well, as we're planning out the rest of today, just keep the rain gear nearby, but just note that for tonight, things are going to be opening up for us. It's going to be much more quiet, and however, temperatures are going to top out into the 70s for us today. Then as we go into tomorrow, well, we're still going to be in the 70s, but it's going to feel nicer. It's not going to be as humid, and we're going to see plenty more sunshine as well. Now, as we take a look at what we're going to see for the next few days as well, well, going into the start of next week, Monday, it's going to be around 77 degrees for us. We do have a couple chances of seeing some rain or even some thunderstorms storms coming in from Tuesday and then Thursday and Friday. But the good news is we're going to see that temperature rise from Wednesday and Thursday, but they will fall once again going into next weekend. So it's not going to be overly warm like we had just the past week. Not looking at 90s just yet, but still going to feel like summer, but not crazy like summer. Tuesday to Monday on this forecast. That is the Wisconsin summer I've been telling you about. Ah, that's okay, so that's what the depiction yeah, is. Yeah, okay. not in the 90s, not really in like the high 70s, but like mid to low, sometimes high 80s, anywhere in the 80s, really. Okay, oh, yeah. well, I can deal with that. Yeah, it's I like an, the it's 80s, nice. especially if it's not too humid, which is not what it's expecting to be. Either. Yeah, so, okay. I like that. I'll All take right. it. All right, okay. Thanks, Julian. The warmer weather means homeowners are mowing the yard on a regular basis, but some people are trading the typical lawn for grass that never needs to be cut. Dina Demetrius reports. Workers rolled out the green carpet in this Los Angeles area neighborhood. The homeowner decided to rip out the old grass and replace it with artificial turf. We like real grass, but you realize how much water it takes to keep your grass green. And all of that water and the runoff and everything else is just not necessary. Many western states are in the midst of a mega drought and some cities now have major water restrictions which will likely cause many yards to turn brown. People in Denver, Colorado are also trading real grass for the synthetic kind. This job cost around $5,000. The company Perfect Turf says there is a backlog of orders from new clients. It really comes down to time, water, and money. Uh, they want to save their weekends, not mowing. They want to cut back on water. Because of that, artificial grass is growing in popularity and has come a long way since AstroTurf was introduced in the 1960s. There are many types of turf available. This yard by Build Cal Turf in LA is made up of a mix of coconut fibers that make it feel almost like grass. So it mimics real grass and it also doesn't get hot. This has been in the sun. On the top of the car, you can feel the turf. It's not hot. I feel like it transformed our backyard into something much more enjoyable. Kim Wynn and her husband say it took one day to install the turf in their backyard. They wanted the look and feel of grass without the maintenance. We spent all this money and time watering grass that we cut and then we water again and we cut it. The new yard doesn't require any mowing or watering and stays green all year long. Dina Demetrius, CBS News, Los Angeles. Artificial grass can come with a big upfront price, costing about $5 to $20 per square foot. But once it's down in your yard, the upkeep is pretty much free. Stick with News 3 now all weekend. Brad will have the day's top stories tonight at 6 and 10. But first, a new category is being added to the Grammy Awards. Details coming up in just three minutes. Brothers Maine enjoys 4th of July festivities with family, friends, and fabulous kitchen and laundry deals. Our fireworks of savings on GE appliances and free delivery will make you ooh and ah. Feel like family at Brothers Maine. Dear gas prices, Toyota's hybrid lineup says, go take a hike because we bring efficiency with power and savings with style. Think you can stand in our way? We got this. Toyota Hybrids. Get 1.75% APR for 48 months on a new 2022 Toyota Corolla, Camry, RAV4, Highlander, or Tacoma. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. We would never hit 12 drunk. Clutch it up drunk? Not a chance. Stop it, drunk? We would never drift drunk. So you should never drive drunk. Drive sober or get pulled over. Made in America. It used to mean something here. 
But it doesn't seem to mean much to Ron Johnson. Senator Johnson pushed for special tax breaks for corporations that ship American jobs overseas. Worse, when his corporate PAC donor announced plans to create jobs outside Wisconsin, Johnson defended them. It's not like we don't have enough jobs here in Wisconsin. Senator Johnson, stop going easy on China and making it tougher on us. It's dangerous up here, and it's no fun shopping around for a reputable contractor. I've built my company on the promise to treat our customers like we would our own family. That means an honest, no-pressure sales experience, expert craftsmanship, and a lifetime guarantee of our work. We know Gutter Shutter is the best system for you and your home, and we'd love to show you how it can keep you safe and off that ladder forever. So call us or visit us online to set up your free estimate, and we can show you what Gutter Shutter and the Larson Home Experience is all about. your energy, giving back to your community, fueling your drive to deliver hope for neighbors in need. At Alliant Energy, we're creating more clean, renewable energy every single day to power what matters to you. Because even during the most powerful moments in our lives, we're not thinking about power. We're thinking about a brighter future. Alliant Energy, powering beyond. Mission Unstoppable, Saturday morning at 9 on News 3 Now. Finally, this morning, video game music has come a long way, and now the composers of game soundtracks will soon have a Grammy Award dedicated to their efforts. Rick Demagello reports. Listening to the Grammy Award winning Baba Yetu featuring the Soweto Gospel Choir. It was written for a video game but didn't win the Grammy for it. Composed by Christopher Tin, Baba Yetu was originally written as the theme for the 2005 video game Civilization IV. It went on to win the 2011 Grammy for Best Instrumental Arrangement Accompanying Vocalists when Tin released it on a solo album. At the time, there wasn't a dedicated Grammy Award for game music, but that is changing. Some of my, my friends and colleagues have been trying to push the Grammys to create a special video game category um, for a long time now, and the Grammys have been slow to adapt, but as the game industry grows and as its footprint becomes undeniable within our popular culture landscape, uh, the Grammys have uh, finally sort of caught up and acknowledged its importance. I have been in Naris since the 90s, so uh, I'm just excited to finally see these worlds coming together and video games finally getting the the, the validity and credibility that it, that it's so much deserves for being such a truly unique art form. For all of us who write music for video games, it's an acknowledgement actually that what we do is considered a legitimate source of mainstream music and art. It validates what we do. The best score soundtrack for video games and other interactive media category makes its debut at the 2023 Grammy Awards, set to take place January 31st. Leveling up in Hollywood, I'm Rick Damagella. Hey, hey, that we, music's just great. I was going to say, we were talking about this last hour, or last show, not yeah. last hour, about how I used to not like it because my brother would listen to video game music to study, and I associated it with my brother blasting music as I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> then in college, I had to write a super long paper, mm -hmm. and I got really sick of my music. Ended up listening to video game music, and I'm like, huh, this works. I don't know if I'd listen that. to it, you oh, know, in the somewhere. car, eh. but, like, if I need to get serious work done, it works. Yeah, and I feel like um, if you find certain soundtracks, There are some I've saved, be, like some of the songs. Yeah. They're so pretty. Absolutely, because I think I even have some of my own, really? but I also play video games. So Good just, like, thing that there's a Grammy. I play video games. I play Sims. <laughs> I don't think there's a soundtrack. Tonight. I don't think there is actually. <laughs> Maybe if you're staying inside kinda. playing video games, it's a rainy day. Good day to do that. Yeah, absolutely. And on top of that, here's what we're looking for the next 10 days, folks. It's going to be rainy today, but then warming up heading into the next few weeks.